Hi, I'm Patricia Nicole, also known as Painted Hair, and today we're going to be talking about client consultation, so stay tuned. So first let's talk about why a client consultation is so important. For me, a client consultation is important because I can go over what my client's hair starting level is, I can go over what the client is wanting to achieve, and then I can go over realistic expectations with the client. So that way, whenever we are covering our bases and whenever we're going to start a process, the client knows exactly what they're getting themselves into and we know exactly what we're getting ourselves into. It's so important to be on the same page. I'm going to go through a couple key points that are so important and it's something you can take back to your salon and use whenever you have a new guest in your chair. So now that we have the client in the chair, the first thing to discuss is hair history. The first key point and the first thing that's so important to find out is hair history. Um, so you could either discuss it or you can have a note, piece of paper or a form that you've created in order to go through what the starting level is, um, what processes have been done to your client in the past. So let's say for instance, are they somebody that gets gray coverage regularly? What level? What is their starting level? Um, have they been highlighted and then covered up with color? So these are all the things that you want to find out before you even begin a process. For me personally, I've run into situations where I didn't do a strand test and those were probably the hardest days that I've had uh, just because I thought that I could achieve something that wasn't possible and then I went in and then I realized, oh my gosh, this person has so much stuff going on underneath their hair and they weren't really honest with me. The strand test is so important, but also just getting the client to be open and communicate with you. That is key. So the second point, now that you've been in discussion with your client, uh, something that you definitely want to cover is hair goals. What is it that your client is looking for when they're coming to see you? A lot of times a client will bring an inspiration picture and it's a photo maybe from somebody else's Instagram or Pinterest or something like that. Um, but it doesn't necessarily reflect the kind of work that you do. So I feel like it's so important for you to go through your own online portfolio, be your Instagram or your own Pinterest or whatever it is, uh, and have your client choose a look that you've already done on another client. And the reason why that's so important is because um, sometimes another stylist may have a client in their chair and their hair types are two different levels or they have two different his hair history types or whatever the case may be. So it's important for you to be upfront with your client about that. Um, just say, you know, I know that you love that picture and it's beautiful, but let's look at some of the work that I've done and see if there's something that you would like for your own hair. The second thing to cover whenever you are talking about hair goals is what's possible. So sometimes if a brunette comes in, they're level two, three, and they're showing you a client that is a level 9, 10, and they don't know that that person has been in your chair 9, 10 sessions or over a whole year or a couple of years or what processes have been done. So you need to then let your client know that this is what this client went through in order to achieve this. Now your hair may be different from that, so let's just start and see what happens. Let's do a session at a time until you get where you want to be. For me, that's always been a golden thing to say. Let's just see what happens with your hair because your hair is different than somebody else's. Uh, and for me, whenever I say that to my clients, I kind of put them at ease because they're coming to me because they trust my work. And so whenever I'm giving them all the information, I'm educating them about what happens whenever their hair is lightened too fast or whatever the case may be, it's so important to educate them on that. And so for me, that's always what has helped me be successful with my clients and that will help you with yours as well. Another topic to discuss is application. Whatever the technique may be, always discuss with your client what you're going to be doing and how you're going to be executing whatever method you're going to use on them. That way they understand, okay, well you want to be lighter, you want to be a little bit higher up, so maybe I'm going to use foils this time and next time I'll freehand paint. Things like that, but really, really having your client understand what it is that they're asking for and how you're going to be able to get them to their goal. For me, my go-to is hair painting. And that's just because I put hair painting out on my page and that's what I'm known for. So people come to me because they want a specialized balayage painted hair application. 
Um, but there are a few instances where I have clients who are like, do something different. And for me, I'm like, I'm always up for it. I always wanna play around and try new things. There's been times when I've tried a mohawk section for a client who's already had their hair painted underneath and it came out so awesome. But I was very clear with that client on what to expect. Your grout is gonna be a lot stronger. We're bringing the lightness up to the root, things like that, something that they're not used to or maybe they wanna keep a lot of their natural root but they wanna be extremely blonde. So maybe you wanna start them out a little bit higher using foils, whatever the case is always make them understand and always be open with them about the good and the bad about what they're asking for or what you're going to start doing for them so now we've covered all of our key points we've talked about hair history we've covered inspiration pictures goals of what the client is looking for uh, we covered application method uh, that's something that's so important something that you definitely want to make sure you discuss with your clients so they know what to expect during the application time last but not least let's get into pricing pricing for me has been something that i've always struggled with um, because i was torn between wanting to give my client a good deal and charging my client appropriately for my time and services provided. But just as a broad overview, I feel like it's so important to always start your clients off knowing exactly what to expect when it comes with your pricing. Whether you charge by the service or you charge by the hour or whatever your pricing structure may be, always making sure to stick to that pricing. And also, whenever you are charging appropriately, uh, you feel so much happier about doing the work and it definitely shows. You're not cutting any corners, you're not trying to skip out on time, you're just free to kind of do whatever needs to be done. This is kind of a broad topic, something that I could definitely create another YouTube video for, something to discuss more in depth. So let me know in the comments below if you would like me to create another video dedicated just to this topic. For me, it's something that I'm very passionate about, giving you guys a lot of business tips and tools to be successful with whatever you're doing with your clients behind the chair. Thank you guys for watching my video. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe and comment below if there's anything that you would like me to discuss on other videos or a different series. Uh, for me, this has been something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's so important for me to be able to share with you guys some of the tips and tricks that I use uh, to help you guys become more successful. Uh, I'm always so grateful for the support I receive on Instagram, so I feel like I want to redirect it to YouTube uh, and give you guys just a little bit more insight, something a little bit deeper into what I do every single day. Thank you guys again, and I'll be back with more.